Hey everyone, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for another video today. And uh, as the title obviously indicates, this is going to be a care package video. And this one comes to me from a relatively new friend of mine in the hobby. Uh, really happy that we've gotten to know each other, uh, even though we haven't met in person, at least on a limited basis. And he's uh, very well known in the YouTube community. I don't think there's anybody watching this uh, channel uh, that would be aware of my content, but not his. Uh, and that is, of course, the uh, infamous Pepino Man. Uh, he has one of my absolute favorite channels uh, going on YouTube, and I know that's a very common opinion. He just has uh, so much fun in this hobby, and his channel is so random and all over the place. Um, he just strikes me as, as an individual who truly appreciates collecting and, and loves all types of cards. I love his enthusiasm and his sense of humor. Um, I know maybe it's not for everyone, but everyone I talk to seems to enjoy it, uh, and I certainly do. It's it's uh, the only YouTube channel I can think of where in the course of a few days uh, I've seen him, you know, mowing the lawn in a full-blown chicken costume, uh, all the way down to uh, protecting a trading card with a prophylactic. So uh, he's an interesting guy. Uh, I really enjoy his content, and uh, he's been kind enough to watch a lot of my videos as well, which I really appreciate, and uh, we've become somewhat hobby friends here. And so we're going to start some back and forth mailings, and uh, Pepino Man fired first. So I uh, do have a stack of cards for him that'll be going out this week, but uh, he sent this one off to me, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, just before he left for the National. And I'm um, only just now finding the time to open this uh, on camera. Wanted to wait until um, I was able to record it. And uh, I should note here on the back, we got some nice stickers. Uh, shiny, as you would expect. This is a uh, high school musical sticker. I think maybe, I guess they both are. So I'm not familiar with that, but I love the uh, comical touch there. And this is what was scaring me. So uh, shaking this package ahead of time, I could hear this moving around. And uh, I was afraid it might be something a lot uh, nastier than Pop Rocks. Just I, I wasn't sure what uh, Pepino Man was going to hit me with. So I'm glad this is uh, just some candy that was thrown in there with the cards. That's awesome. And then uh, we've got a small stack here of some uh, some cardboard. I know uh, Pepino's mentioned on his channel many times that uh, he doesn't he gets attached to his cards and he doesn't really enjoy giving away cards from his own collection, which I can I can understand. And so I'm guessing these are maybe some that he uh, picked up for me, you know, out at a show or in a discount box or uh, something like that. And uh, the wrapping job is interesting here. I think this is the first time I've seen like. Uh, medical tape used to uh, package up some cards, but that's, uh, that works, you know, the cards got here, and uh, in good shape too, and undamaged. And let's take a look, so we got some nice shiny purple here right out of the gate, so uh, Pepino knows I love the shine, just like he does, and I've mentioned on the channel before that I do have a Z folio of uh, all purple cards that I'm keeping, so it looks like, uh, based on what I'm seeing in the background here, it looks like he's made some nice additions in this package to that purple Z folio. Here's another one, Barry Larkin. This is a uh, hollow purple, the Cincinnati Reds, and the lighting isn't helping this one too much. It actually looks better in hand here than it does on the camera. Awesome card there. Uh, here's another cool one, love the Heritage Chrome Purple Refractors. Um, what they do in the background on these with like the, the stippling or that, that effect that they do behind the players, it just really elevates the Chrome card to me. Um, I think they've done the same thing with the recent Allen and Ginter Chrome uh, release. Um, just really like how that looks. And this is a fantastic addition to the Purple Card Z Folio. I've got a whole page going of these uh, 65 inspired Purple Refractors in particular. So that's going to be a home run in there. Here's a nice, another nice shiny one here. Michael Chavis. It's a rookie card. I think this is out of maybe like a Panini Chronicles release, I'm going to guess. Uh, Panini Unparalleled Baseball. I've never heard of that before, but this one is going right into my shiny baseball Z Folio. Um, I talk a lot about the Z Folios, and I will be showing some of them off on the channel. I'm just waiting for them to get sort of uh, most of the way filled, and then I'll be filming some of those episodes. So you'll probably see some of these cards again. Here's a cool one. I was absolutely not expecting this. Rusne Castillo relic a uh, dual relic auto rookie card out of 2015 diamond kings complete with uh mystery hair here on the blue swatch so 
So maybe this is uh, from Pepino's dog, a cat. That, that's cool. I'm actually going to leave that there. Uh, pretty awesome. And uh, this guy, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings about uh, Ruzne Castillo, as a lot of Red Sox fans do. But I really don't think he necessarily got uh, a fair shake. And I feel like he maybe could have produced um, better at the major league level had the organization handled his scenario a little bit better. Um, and maybe that's unfair of me to say. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, really cool uh, auto relic here nonetheless, and one that I will happily put in my socks box. Uh, I'm going to skip to the back here because I see another purple. This will obviously go right on the page uh, with the Cespedes card that we looked at a minute ago. Hanley Ramirez. I'm still surprised to this day how abruptly his major league career came to an end. He was not swinging a horrible bat with the Red Sox at all when he was released and was always just kind of surprised that he wasn't picked back up by another team. But um, I do enjoy collecting his cards, and this one is another home run for the purple Z Folio. So thank you, Pepino. And then the last card, I think I know what this is, and there it is. This is a sweet Xander Bogarts Prism Rookie camo parallel and uh i am going to give pepino some credit here because i think this is a card that he already had in his collection uh that he did part with to send my way so that is tremendous uh this means a great deal to me i, I really really uh love this card and uh can't thank you enough for being kind enough to send this to me to join my bogarts collection um, that's really, really awesome, and uh, this is absolutely going to go right into the Z Folio that I have that is dedicated to Xander. I'll open up a spot right on the 2014 page and uh, slide this in right next to the base prism card, which I do have. Um, but I didn't manage to acquire any of these awesome parallels back in the day. Um, I think back in 2014, I was a little bit of a snob about licensing, and I sort of regret that now because I passed on... Uh, some Panini baseball cards like this one back back then when they were cheaper um, just because of that lack of a logo and I regret that now and I'm, I'm definitely uh, looking to sort of fill in some of those holes and this is an awesome addition on that front. I mean, yes, it's unlicensed, but look at the etching in Xander's jersey here in his uniform, the creases in his uniform. Uh, you know, Panini does this in the way that Topps used to on their refractors and uh, I am very much in the camp of uh, Eric over at those back pages and others who are constantly beating the drum of uh, please bring back etching tops. So uh, we'll end on that. That's definitely uh, my favorite card, although I do appreciate all of the ones that you sent here, Pepino. Thank you so much for this care package. I will get yours out uh, on the way soon and uh, looking forward to see what kind of crazy content you are going to bring our way next. So thank you so much, Pepino man. And uh, thank you everybody else for uh, checking in. And I'll be back in the near future with some more sports card content. Take care.